Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to World of Laughter, Learning and Entertainment. Hello, YouTube friends. Join us as we unravel the mysteries surrounding Gizis Ulmkumitav. Gizis Sali Yuli Ulmkumitav pronounced as is Ulmaxamidiv Ashka Cyrillic Tatar Cyrillic. Gizis Salikovich Ulmkumitav was an ethnic Ashka opera singer, tenor, and composer. He was born in the village of Moratul of Stolitamsky Uyezd of Ufa Governorate now Kugazinsky district of the Republic of Bashkortostan from 1922 to 1929. He lived in Kazan. He was the people's artist of the BASSR from a founder of the Bashka State Opera and Ballet Theatre in Ufa. In collaboration with Vasily Vinogradov and Sultan Abi. He composed the first Tatar operas, Sani 1925 and I the Worker 1930. Our Maximide have composed also vocal and instrumental concertos. In the upcoming section, we'll be dissecting biography and exploring its implications in greater detail. His mother Galima gave birth to 20 children, all sons, of whom only six survived. The family was poor, so the children began to work for hire early. Gizis began to sing from the age of five six. His parents, Sally and Galama, sang well. Residents of Muraptal and the surrounding villages liked to listen to their singing. After the death of his father, at the age of seven, Gizis was hired to graze cattle. In 1908, Gizis left in search of a job in Tashkent with his brother Adrachman. In Central Asia, Gizis worked in the vineyards in the summer and studied in the madrasa in winter and was engaged in singing. Gizis began to be invited to amateur evenings, where he performed Bashka and Tatar folk songs. Since 1916 he began to often give concerts in the city of Orenburg. After the February Revolution of 1917 in Russia, he became a member of the Bashka National Liberation Movement for the creation of an autonomous Bashka Republic. He joined the organization of the Bashka Youth Tulking. He took part in concerts organized by the unrecognized Bashka government in Orenburg, in Ufa. During the civil war in Russia 1918-1920 he served in the Orenburg military department of the Bashka military council. He was the leader of one of the units of the Bashka troops. These facts from his biography played a fateful role in his fate. At the end of the civil war, in 1920 he studied at the People's Conservatory in Tashkent and later consulted at the conservatory in Moscow since 1921. He has been combining concert activity with collecting Bashka and Tatar folk songs and composing. He is interested in folklore of Eastern peoples, Bashka and Tatar folk songs, their history, legends. Gradually becomes a folklorist gatherer and performer. The spotlight now falls on as we delve deeper into its details. Gizis Ulmakumitov wants to write a national opera. The work is hindered by a lack of experience and professional composers who could be consulted. On the advice of friends, he goes to Kazan. In the years 1920-1929, lives in Kazan, gives concerts, writes songs, works on operas with Sultan Gabieshi and V. I. Vinogradov. He writes the sketches of the opera Sania on the libretto of the Tatar writer Fasha Merkin. Together with Sultan Gegyashi and Vasily Vinogradov, he continues to work on Sanya. June 25, 1925 in Kazan, the premiere of Sanya. Great success inspired the team of authors. The first opera was followed by the second Esh Worker. Both operas received a great response. The score of Sanya and photographs of authors and performers were exhibited at the International Exhibition in Frankfurt am Main and Esh was shown in the summer of 1930 in Moscow at the All-Union Olympiad of National Theatres. In the upcoming portion, we'll be dissecting to gain a comprehensive understanding of its implications. Life in Kazan was developing successfully, but Gaziz Almakamitov really wanted to return home to Bashkatustan. Since 1929, Almakamitov's life and work are associated with Ufa. Almakamitov is the author of the pamphlet in the struggle for the creation of Bashka Soviet Music Alpha, 1933, which for the first time highlights the state of Bashka musical culture and outlines the prospects for its development. In Alpha, gives concerts and writes music. 
Gaziz Olmikimitov became one of the organizers of the Bashka studio at Moscow Tchaikovsky Conservatory in 1930-1936. He was its leader and the initiator of the opening Bashka State Philharmonic. In search of gifted singers, he travels to the regions of the Republic. The first students from Bashkatistan who had never heard the opera before were sent to the Moscow Conservatory. In 1929, on the 10th anniversary of the Bashka Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic, Gaziz Almakimitov, in collaboration with Gabeshi and Vinibrodov, wrote the Solemn March Bashkatistan. Almakimitov performed it in a government concert for delegates of the VII All Bashka Congress of Soviets. At this congress, it was decided to award the singer the title of People's Artist of the Bashka Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic. In his concert trips and expeditions to collect photo, Gaziz Salikovich continued to search for new talents for the opera studio. He selected 25 out of 500 people in the future. They became masters, singers, musicians, composers. Among them were singers Banu Veliva, Kabagalamov, Gadrachman Kabibolin, Zaytuna Ilbeva, Alina Kalinina Sitlanova, Asma Shemaratova, Maryam Gadrachmanova, Muslim Amusina, and composers Zaga Izumajilov and Kusain Ekmitov. Since 1932 he worked at the Ufa College of Music and at the same time at the Bashka Research Institute of Language and Literature. He recorded Bashka folk songs Ashkada, Boranbe, Tafilia, Yorl, an excerpt from the epic legend Kunga Buga and others. Almakimitov did not limit his repertoire to folk songs, classical romances and arias, but also created his own original things. His ballad The Evil Wind is one of the first works in this genre in Bashka and Tatar music. The song on Mayakovsky's death is peculiar, the lyrics were very popular, boats, I am writing songs, on the shore of Ijidali. He was disturbed by the fact that young people were brought up in the spirit of disrespect for Bashka folk songs. From the pages of newspapers, he denounces a fascination with light songs that do not have a deep content. Almakimitov prepared the national repertoire for the future opera house. He ordered new operas by composers Saf, Gabiashi and Akiyushuyev. Secret Marriage of Samarasa and La Molinara by Pesilo were translated from Italian into the Bashka language. It was a period of rapid industrialization and cultural revolution in the USSR. Almakimitov's initiatives were supported by the leaders of the Bashka Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic Republic, who cared about the development of education and culture of the Republic. In Alpha, Almakimitov was twice ill with typhus. His two daughters died in infancy. Since 1936 he was an artist of the Directorate of Art under the government of the Bashka Autonomous Soviet Socialist Republic, and since July of that year he was the leader of a group of brigades. In 1937-1938 there were repressions against many figures of the state, science, culture, etc. He was arrested on December 12, 1937. At that time he was going to go on tour to Tashkent. In prison, Gaziz Almakimitov sang in front of the bars for all prisoners, sang the Bashka songs Yol and Buran Bay. He was in prison for seven months. Shot on July 10, 1938, rehabilitated in 1957. After the arrest of her parents, Rosa Almakimitova lived in the family of the parents of the future composer Naraman Sabatov. But Mushra Fazalina Olmakamitov's wife was soon released from prison due to illness. Rosa Latipova Olmakamitova, the daughter of Singer, has kept a vinyl record, on one side of which was recorded Nigmit's aria from the opera Eshs, and on the other, the song Minlebika. It was accidentally discovered on the Tashkent market by the cousin of the singer. On the record, the name of the singer was very carefully destroyed. In 1937-1987, even mentioning the name of the first Bashka professional singer and composer Gizis Olmakimitov was forbidden. Olmak Samaidev was a victim of Great Purge. He was arrested on 12 December 1937 and was shot on July 10, 1938. In the next portion, we'll be immersing ourselves in the realm of works and examining its broader implications. 1933. Prepare yourself for an in-depth analysis of memory in this section.
On December 14, 1938, the premiere of Pesolo's opera La Molinara in the Bashka State Opera and Ballet Theatre in the Bashka language took place. The theatre was opened. This theatre is the best monument to Gizizel Mikhamitov. In 1968, the Republican contest of young singers for the prize named after Dizis Omakomitov was established in the BASSR. In 1994, his name was given to the Republican Music School of the City of Arfa. On the life and work of G. South, Omakomitov in 1994 in the studio of the state television and radio broadcasting company Bashkatustan the documentary I Will Return to You was shot scenes by East. In Davidova, dear, Fahrenheit South, Safulina. In 1995, in honor of the 100th anniversary of the People's Artist of the BASSR, the Museum of G South, Olmakomitov was opened in the village of Muraptal. There are streets of Gadges Olmakomitov in the village of Negevo, the Oktubuski district of the city of Ufa, and in the village of Muraptal of the Kugazinski district of Bashatusan. Share this video with your friends and spread the knowledge.